CataractCoach.com. Lift the iris in smaller pupil cases. You can make sure there's no residual lens material and that the IOLs in the caps are bag. So let's watch a couple of cases here. This is in high speed. Shown at twice normal speed. We're putting the lens in the caps or bag. Eyes full of viscoelastic. Looks pretty good. But look at the pupil size. Not the biggest. So using the chopper here, we can lift the iris up and check to make sure that the IOL is in the caps or bag. Underneath that Rex is 360, as well as make sure there's no residual lens material. Now we can go inside the eye and confidently move the viscoelastic, knowing that there is no cortex or other lens material that's going to become apparent on post-op day one or thereafter. Remember, if you leave a little bit of cortex there in the caps or bag, it swells overnight. And by the next morning on post-op day one, when you see the patient, that little piece of cortex is, is going to become a big, fluffy piece of hydrated cortex. And if it's a nuclear chip, you're probably going to have to go back inside the eye to remove it. This is a very smart move. And now you can see the end of the case, the pupil is actually relatively small. That viscoelastic was keeping it dilated. Another case, let's take a look here. Again, putting the eye well in the capsule bag. That goes in very nicely. And the dilation is not terrible here. It's probably about a five millimeter dilation, maybe four and a half millimeters. But when we lift up the iris and look all around, we sweep here, it looks pretty good. And you want to check 360 degrees. And we come back here, and what is that? Surprise, surprise. There's a nuclear fragment that's left behind. Now we can get it out with the IA probe. And if we need to use the spatula to push it down the port. We finish up the case here, going behind the eye well to remove the viscoelastic, and the rest of the case will proceed normally. So very important that you check carefully underneath the iris in cases like this. Now these aren't tiny pupils. We didn't need to use iris hooks or a pupil expansion ring, but the pupils are small enough that it blocks a lot of our view. So we need to make sure of that. Let's look at another one. Again, putting the eye well inside the caps or bag. Again, shown at two times normal speed, just so we can show you more cases here and opening up those haptics. In addition, we have to make sure that both haptics and the optic are completely within the caps or bag and behind the rexus. Remember, if any part of this single piece acrylic lens is in the sulcus, it can cause a lot of problems such as UGH syndrome, uveitis, glaucoma, hyphema syndrome. And that's a problem. One more case now, again shown at high speed. Here, removing the cortex. In our mind, as we remove the cortex, we're keeping track of it. Now that looks pretty clean, not much uh, in the way of that red reflex. Filling the capture bag, that gives us a little viscomedriasis. Still looks pretty clean. We're gonna put our lens in the capture bag. Here's a single piece monofocal acrylic lens. And now we gotta carefully dial that in, make sure it really goes in the capture bag and that both haptics completely unfold. And then here's the sweep again, watch carefully. Using the chopper, when the lens is repositioned and we're happy, we can use the chopper and lift the iris and we can bring that around 360. And this is gentle, don't worry, this won't damage the iris. And now we're sure there is no retained lens material in the eye and the eye well is definitely in the capture bag. At this point, we can go inside with the eye probe, remove our viscoelastic, go behind the optic, clean everything out, and it will look great. So keep this technique in mind, and this is a very important tip for these patients where the pupils are good, but not very dilated. There's still a lot of room where cortex can be hidden. And in addition, the eye well could be misplaced and not fully in the capsule bag. So it behooves us to really check and make sure of that. Now we can finish up the case and call it a day, and the patient's going to be happy. Check out our teaching website, cataractcoach.com. I know you love YouTube videos, so do I, but there's a lot more material on cataractcoach.com. It's also organized into convenient categories with a great search engine. You can submit your own video and sign up for a free daily email. We'll send you a great case just like this one to your inbox every single day. Thank you.